Why should, for instance, a political party that has won elections with a majority vote in parliament petition all the seats from the opposition? We have seen this in the past, but that was on account that the government, a party that won and got into government was very weak in parliament. They had few numbers in parliament. So for it to get a hold of a parliament and be able to pass legislation, be able to pass bills, be able to pass decisions, they decide to um, petition in the hope that one, when a few seats are nullified and you go for by elections, they will uh, gain more seats so that they can have control of that. So there's no justification for a, a government or a party that has already got majority in parliament. Now they want to grab all the seats to kill democracy. That must be questioned. And Zambians should not go to sleep when it comes to matters of that nature. So um, we, we know that um, we feel that our democracy is under threat uh, because those are early signs of leaders who uh, may not entertain uh, dissenting voices. It's one thing to say, I will not allow, I won't let anybody arrest you because of a dissenting voice. You are trying to create a painted picture that you, la you, you allow for divergent views. But then how do you explain wanting to grab all the voices from the opposition political parties that petition you. So you are clearly contradicting yourself. In one breath they are saying you allow opposition to speak and be everywhere. But on the other hand you want to uh, shut them up completely. You want to obliterate them completely. So we want to say Zambians must be permanent. Uh, that is a danger. And uh, why that is a danger is uh, if a government has got a majority in power pretty much uh, they go to they're in control of most of the decisions that we make. But if they want to go an extra mile, they need to be in the question. 